What an opportunity. It's a good challenge. I learned so much. This is really serving our country. It accelerated my growth and understanding of DLA. And you get to wear this uniform. <laughs> The DLA Rapid Deployment Team is there, wherever the mission goes. Whether it's humanitarian assistance, a natural disaster, medical emergency, or military missions around the globe, we work the logistics needs and expedite solutions. It's definitely something I wanted to do to um, better myself and get a better understanding of what DLA does as a whole. You do get a different perspective on everything that happens within DLA because you meet so many people from the different MSCs. One of the worst things I could do is be stuck behind a desk. It's good to be outside and do something important outside in the real parts, right? There's a lot of adventure involved. Uh, it's good for your professional development. I think that everybody should have an opportunity to do this, to help see how they affect the world. The locations are national and global. Just follow the major news events to know where we are. Domestically, we would support disaster relief to any states that are experiencing hurricanes or earthquakes. Across the globe, places we have been before is Haiti for humanitarian assistance and for contingencies. We've been to uh, Europe and Africa in support of evacuation and Ukraine crisis. You are chosen because of your job position. So you'll be the command and control for all DLA personnel in the AOR. Then the RDT training will build on those skills for in-the-field effectiveness. Initial RDT training will improve your customer service skill, improve your critical thinking skills, as well as your ability to problem solve. The RDT teams are comprised of three 13-member teams. The red, white, and blue teams rotate each month from on alert to standby to reset. They usually go out and do one training event per year, and then hopefully they go out and do one real event per year. My assignments have been in Germany, Romania, and Bulgaria. South Korea, Cape Humphreys, Kaiserslautern in Germany. As soon as Ukraine got invaded, we were actually there when it happened. They pushed us out there before it happened. When deployed, the team is embedded with the Joint Task Force, or lead, component. Yes, ma'am, we can hear you. You are the DLA liaison and provide critical real-time logistics information between the area of operation and the DLA supply chain. I'm commander of RDT Red. So in my capacity, I'm the commander that goes out into the field and then helps present the forces. Because we each have a commodity that we handle, we're able to obtain um, items or services, supplies that they may need. Beyond the rapid deployment teams, there are also individual deployment opportunities. Everything starts off with the RDT, would deploy within 24 to 48 hours, and it's normally for only 30 days. If it becomes an enduring requirement, it turns into a DST, and that, that requirement now would we start filling that with DLA assets at 179 or six month rotations until the mission is complete. First, we need to make sure you are fit for the job. Personal requirements to be on the team are you have to be able to pass the physical and keep your immunizations up to date and then you have to qualify for a secret clearance. Then it's time to get equipped. As part of the initial training, they will equip you with a set of military fatigues, as well as contingency equipment, including Kevlar, flak vest, and helmet. I think it's snug, yeah, it feels good. Okay. You will also pick up a zipper net connectivity card, a thick client laptop, headsets, and a DLA cell phone. Next, you will learn how to handle field situations and build team unity through many exercises. The training here is part trying to get people to understand the mission, the process, and the bigger half is just how do, how do we work together? Buddy, how you doing? I need a tourniquet. tourniquet. That was realistic. To walk into a room and not just be presented with uh, a mannequin or some kind of training aid, but to hear the, the gunfire speakers, the fog in the room, the, the shrill of a woman's cry was uh, kind of haunting, to be honest with you. Oh, he started to breathe. Medical training was pretty realistic, as you can tell, like I got fake blood all over me. If anything falls into the pit, it will be destroyed instantly by the pool of acid. We did an obstacle course and then really built some teamwork. Good job. I just wanted to get into the thick of it. You got it? And I wanted to crawl through a tunnel and I wanted to be hoisted up by a rope. And it's just, you know, it's something fun. It's something different. No one's going to walk away from this feeling like they didn't um, receive the training that they needed to be safe and successful no matter where they go. Yeah. Questions? Here are the top five frequently asked questions.
What is it like on deployment? Um, definitely interesting. When I first arrived, found out where I was staying, it was like military barracks. A little bit overwhelming at first. A lot of long days. I mean, very, very rarely do you do an eight-hour day when you're deployed. The friendships you make in this program are life-lasting. We're not just friends or co-workers on an RDT mission. We are truly a family. What are the annual training requirements? So our initial annual training that happens around October, November goes for 11 days. And the semi-annual could run anywhere from seven days to, to two to three weeks, depending on where you're going. What are the biggest challenges of deployment? It's very challenging, and that's part of why I do it. It puts you out of your comfort zone, but I think that's good. It's really the challenge of supporting the customer and really being able to help. 80% of this job is attitude. If you've got the right attitude, you can do this. What are the deployed living accommodations? Living accommodations can be everything from fairly austere tents, cots, and sleeping bags to just a regular normal TDY. What are the benefits of deployment? DLA likes to have make, uh, diversity um, in experience and thought, and this will add that um, facet to your resume. Getting that face-to-face -face time with, with the customers that we serve uh, has, de has definitely helped me. It, it motivates me. It's exposed me to a lot of different areas of the law that I wouldn't otherwise have been exposed to, um, so it's been very good for me. This might be the DLA experience you've been looking for. Contact the DLA Deployment Operation Branch to get started. I thought about it and thought about it, and then this year I just said, you know what, I want to go for it. We have a great mission, and I really do think that the right people all together can really accomplish anything. Wherever I go, if it's stateside or overseas, just whatever it is that we do, so long as it matters, that's what I want.